friends, it's Miss G. If you miss our morning Zoom meeting, um, this is just a recap of what we talked about, okay? Alright, today we talked about sea animals. We've been talking about animals all week. Or you guys have been doing projects with animals all week. So today we're going to talk about the animals in the ocean. Okay, now this is a picture of... You're right, it's the Earth. It's, this is the planet that we live on. On the Earth, you see all this blue? This is the ocean. Now, the green and the brown parts right here are land. We have land here and here. Uh, on the, the Earth is round, so as it turns, you're going to see there's, a, there's more land on the other side, but there's also more ocean on the other side. There is actually more ocean than there is land. So there are a lot of sea creatures that can live in the ocean. Alright, so we're going to put that right here. Now, when we talk about the ocean, the first creature that everyone thinks about, oh, here he is, I dropped him, is the shark. Okay, the shark swims in the ocean. Now the really cool thing about the shark is you see this, see his mouth over here? He's got a really big mouth. This mouth can, t can hold up to 300 teeth. He has 300 teeth. We only are having uh, just over 30, 32 teeth in our mouth. Um, but as, um, if you still have some of your baby teeth, you don't even have that many teeth yet. He has 300 teeth. And the cool thing about him is when one of his teeth fall out, he gets another one. Okay, they are, his sharks are growing teeth constantly. We as humans, we only get two sets of teeth. We have our baby sets of teeth that we get after we're born. Then once you start losing your baby teeth, you get your big grown-up teeth. Now, I have my grown-up teeth. If I were to lose my, uh, any of my grown-up teeth, they don't grow back. Sharks can keep growing teeth for their whole life. They are never going to stop growing teeth. They can actually grow up um, before the end of their lives. They can have had up to 30,000 teeth. Hmm. I wonder if we can count to, to 30,000. That would take us a really long time to count to 30,000. I don't think I want to do that right now. Alright, another sea creature that we think about is the whale. The whale lives in the ocean, but he is not actually a fish. A whale is a mammal, which means he breathes air and he's warm-blooded. Just like we are, just like people, a whale is a mammal. But the whale does live in the ocean. Whales can hold their breath for very long periods of time. So they can dive really deep in the ocean and swim around in the ocean. But when they need to, to breathe, they have a blowhole right up here on top of their head. They'll swim up to the top of the ocean and they'll breathe. That's when you see, um, when they come up, you'll see the water squirt right out of their blowhole because they have all the water on top. They blow all of that up. It looks like a big water spout. And they'll take a big breath. Then they'll dive back down into the water and keep swimming. So there are whales in the ocean. There are lots of different kind of whales. We have um, blue whales, sperm whales, um, uh, belugas, and uh, killer whales, or we call them orcas. Either They have... Uh, they are called by both names, but there are lots of different whales. If you like whales, look up whales on the computer and read about a whale. Okay, another really cool creature that lives in the ocean is the sea turtle. Now the sea turtle is really cool. We also have, we have sea turtles, but we also have land turtles. Now the difference between a, a sea turtle and a land turtle is sea turtles have flippers down here. So that, that helps them swim. They'll swim back and forth. Okay. Now a land turtle will have 
uh, legs so that he can actually walk on the on the uh, ground. Sea turtles can also move on the sand when they come out of the ocean. They can also move on the sand, but they use their flippers as their legs, and so they're kind of waddling around out there. Okay, the other difference between a sea turtle and a land turtle, sea turtles cannot pull their heads or their feet inside their body like the land turtle can. So this is the sea turtle. He likes to swim in the ocean. He eats uh, lots of, he eats shrimps and jellyfish. He eats seaweed. He eats crabs. He eats lots of different things, smaller things in the ocean. Okay. Another one, and this is my personal favorite, is the jellyfish. The jellyfish swims in the water. The jellyfish has actually been around longer than the dinosaurs. Very cool. Um, the jellyfish, they don't have brains. They just are out there floating around, swimming around in the ocean. Okay. You see they have a, a dome top and then they have tentacles that hang down. Now these tentacles sting. Okay. And that's how they protect themselves from the predators who are trying to eat them. Okay. They can protect themselves with their stingers. Now their prey, they also eat little fish and little things that float around in the ocean. They'll catch them with their tentacles and then they have a mouth right underneath. That's how they eat. Okay, we have another one is the octopus. Octopus are really cool. Octopus have eight legs or arms. Okay, they use these eight tentacles to catch food. You see the suckers right here, these circles on the bottom? So if this was his arm, this is where his suckers would be on the inside or underneath. And he catches his food that way. Okay, this is the octopus. Octopus are very shy creatures. So if they are scared or they're trying to hide from a predator who's trying to eat them, um, they will squirt ink to cloud up the water so that they can swim away without being noticed. That is a really cool thing to do. We also have seahorse. Okay, these seahorses, they don't run like the, like the seahorses, like, like the horses on land. These are seahorses. They have little fin on the back that move back and forth really fast to help them swim. They use their tails to hold on to seaweed so that they don't get blown away with the current. Okay. And the last creature I'm going to show you is a dolphin. Okay, Dolphins, just like whales, are not fish, but they live in the ocean. Okay, um, They also have a blowhole up here, so they hold their breath for a very long time. You see them swimming in the ocean, and they can jump up out of the water and when they come up out of the water, they take a breath through their blowhole. All right. Another sea creature is a starfish. They also live on the bottom of the ocean. They actually walk around. They use their tentacles right here. And they walk around on the bottom of the ocean. They Now this one has five tentacles. Okay. This is called a starfish or a sea star. Now, some sea stars can grow a lot more tentacles and they'll have more legs than five. They can have lots of them. But the really cool thing is if one of these legs get broken off, they will actually grow a new one. It takes them a little bit to grow a new one, but they will grow a new one. So that is really cool. They can regenerate that way. Very cool. Okay. Now, there are lots of other sea creatures um, that I did not show you. So, what I want you to do is I want you to take your field trip on your computer and go to an aquarium and check out all the different sea creatures that you can see. Okay. What we're going to do right now is I'm going to pull you up here and we're actually going to draw a picture of another sea creature. Let me grab a piece of paper. I'm sorry. Okay, um, 
here's my paper. And we're going to draw a crab. So this is a follow the directions of drawing a crab. All right. Here we go. So I'm going to put this up. And actually, I'm going to have him go sideways. I'm going to put it right here. Oh, okay, we're going to put it right there. There you go. And um, so that I don't draw, that the ink doesn't go through, and draw my wall, I'm actually going to stick another paper underneath here. Uh, let's get the, a little bit of tape on that too, so that will save my wall from getting ink on it, okay? And now, to draw a crab, you need your paper, and you need... Um, a pen to draw with, okay? A pen, a marker, pencil, crayon, anything works as long as you're following directions to this thing. Okay, the first thing I want you to do is I want you to draw down here on the lower half, you are going to draw a sideways oval. So this oval is actually laying on its side. There's my oval. Okay, did you draw yours? Okay, I'll wait for you. Okay, now what you need to do is you're going to draw two ovals, a pair at the top, but one on each side. You're going to draw it straight up. So, so he's kind of up and down. So he's actually going to just look like the oval, like, like the egg. There's my two ovals. This actually is the crab's pinchers. Okay, to make it look like pinchers, we're going to draw the line down. Okay, now don't make it go all the way down, okay? It's kind of like your, your fingers. You see how your fingers, my fingers, stop up here. They don't go all the way down to the wrist, so you don't want it to come all the way down. So it's just going to open them just like this. So it's, there's a solid part. There's a solid part, so make sure he stays solid, okay? All right, now you have to draw his arms on there. The holes is pinchers. I draw those arms down there. I kind of went a little bit too high. Maybe his arm should have been on the side a little bit, but that's okay. This is mine. Okay, now I've got. He's got to have eyes, so we have to draw him two little eye stalks. His eyes actually grow, not on his body. They're attached to his body. So these are the little parts that are going to attach it. We're going to draw circles on each one. Those are his eyes. And you're going to draw a circle, or you're going to color in his eye. If you color just a part of the eye, that's fine. If you color the whole eye, that's fine also. Now, crabs have six legs. So you need to draw three legs on each side. Three here, three here. So let's draw three. We're going to go up. We're going to come down, pull it around, and match it back there. So he kind of looks like spider's legs, but we're going to give him three, okay? There's one, here's a second one, and here is a third one. Now I have to draw three on this side. We're going to go up, oh, down, around, bring them back in, up, down, around, bring them back in, and one more time. He's going to go down, down further, up. And around. There is my crab. Okay. Crabs also have little. There he is. There's my little crab. Okay. So that was a following directions. Making your crab. Did your crab look like mine? I bet yours looked a lot better than mine. Mine didn't turn out so, so awesome. But I can make him look even better by coloring him to make him look great. Okay. So that's what I want you to do. Draw your crab, and then I want you to, to color it to make him look really cool. All right? So he was kind of easy. Now, to, you can draw a lot of other sea creatures. There we go. You can draw a lot of other sea creatures um, by listening. Okay, and you, what you do is you go to the website. I'm going to give you the website, and it's called Art for Kids Hub dot com and it's on youtube and then you can pick the sea creature that 
you want to follow along and draw. I'll write you up a link and I'm going to send it to your mama's email. Okay, so you'll have that to go on. Okay, now the last thing you guys are going to do is you're going to do a math project. Okay, and on this math project, okay, I've already started it. Okay, is you're going to cut out a fish. You're going to cut, cut out a fish. All right, um, you're going to take some cards. I took my cards and I uh, only kept out, okay, I kept out all four suits. So I have hearts, diamonds, clovers, or uh, clubs, and spades. Okay, so you're going to have 16 cards. You're going to keep the ace through four. So that's going to give you a total of 16 cards, okay? What you're going to do is you're going to have some scales. You're going to have some scales. You're going to draw a card. I drew a number two. Okay, I already started my fish, so I just drew a two. So what I'm going to do now, I need to get two more scales to glue on. So I'm going to glue one, and I'm going to glue another one. So I'm going to key in, then what I'm going to do, or what I'd like you guys to do, is keep drawing, keep drawing your cards, until um, you have put on as many scales to cover your fish. When you're done, I want you to count up all your scales, and then write how many scales it took to cover your fish. Okay? If you want to, you can make a um, jellyfish hat. Okay, by doing the same thing, you're going to use a paper, a paper plate, and you're going to use, um, oops, you're going to use um, strips of tissue paper. You're going to use strips of tissue paper, strips of um, construction paper. You can also cut up um, uh, paper towels into strips to use those. Okay, again, you're going to draw a card. This card is one, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue or tape one tentacle to him. Okay, now I've already done a couple. I have five already glued on or taped on. One, two, three, four, five. So, and I'm keeping score on how many I have. I'll keep, you're going to keep drawing, gluing however, or taping however many more on that you need until he is all covered with his with his tentacles and that will be your jellyfish now jellyfish like I said are my favorite so for Halloween one year I made a jellyfish hat and that's kind of what you're doing is you're making a jellyfish hat and you're using the materials you have but I went a little bit further and I made a big jellyfish hat because like I said it was for Halloween okay and what I did is I made tentacles. Okay, there we go. Okay, here's my jellyfish hat. Okay, I got me a little umbrella. I put some tentacles on him and I covered it up. And as you know, jellyfish just kind of float around in the water. So I made a jellyfish hat. And that is exactly what you're going to do with this one. You're going to make a jellyfish hat. Uh, when you're done with them, you could put a string in it from here, and then a string in it from here, and then you're going to tie it under your tent, and then you will wear your jellyfish hat, and you're going to watch your jellyfish float around. Okay? So, I hope you guys have fun learning about sea creatures, all the sea creatures that live in the ocean, and... Um, as you do your math project, you're going to make either a fish or a jellyfish, um, and then you can turn it into a hat. Okay. When your fish is done, if you want to wear them as hat, you're going to cut a couple pieces of construction paper. You're going to make a round band, a round band around your head. Okay. And then you're just going to, then you can just staple whatever sea creature you make onto it okay you can make the starfish and then just staple your starfishes to it okay so have fun
fun learning about the sea creatures. All right. Let me know what your favorite sea creature is. Draw a picture of him and write a story about him. Uh, I, would, I would say I like jellyfish because I like to watch them move around in the water. They look like they are dancing in the water. Okay, so that's what I want you all to do is to write your favorite sea animal, draw his picture, and tell me a sentence why you like the sea creature. Okay? Y'all have fun, and I will see you again later. Bye.